Yo, what's good guys, man? It's your boy Dan Lefty. Coming back at you guys with another video, man. First off, I want to say thank you, and I appreciate everything, all the love and support. Thank you for looking at the channel and all the videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have gameplay going on in the background while I speak, but um, I just wanted to talk about uh, the playmaking, you know? The lack of playmaking, I should say. You know what I mean? Um, as you guys see me here, I'm on my pure playmaker build. Um, I'm just cutting the clips of me most of the times, but I feel like a lost art in 2K has been the playmaking. You know what I mean? If you look at all the point guards now, um, whether it's comp point guards or even the point guards that's in the NBA, a lot of the point guards are score first point guards. Um, so if you look at a guy like a Steph Curry, a Dame Lillard, you know, a Trey Young, who I think is overrated, you know what I mean? Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying? Like those guys, and it translates into the game, but it's like, what happened to all the pure playmakers, all the pass first point guards? You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I'm one of the last breeds of those type of uh, play style, as you can see in the video. Like I said, the gameplay that's going on in the background, I'm always looking to pass first. You know what I mean? I'm always looking to get my teammates involved. I could care less if I score. You know what I mean? As I get the rebound, I just throw it down the court. That's what I'll be talking about. I'm, I'm always looking down the court. I'm always looking for the open man. I'm always looking for my teammate. And granted, I don't always make the best passes. Sometimes I get turnovers. Sometimes I miss a guy um, a second late. And I do get upset about that. But, you know, you just focus on the next play. As I snatch another rebound, I throw it down the court. And he passes it to my man. Shout out my guy, Lee DaVinci, man. Um, he's a shooting guard on the team. Whenever me and him pull up in the wreck, we do our thing. I get like 10 assists, he get like 25 to 30 points, he's a bucket, you know, so I want to shout him out one time, um, but yeah, man, I really do feel like a lost art in 2K is pure playmaking, how many times have you guys gone into the rec center or gone um, on the park with randoms and the point guards especially, they're just looking for their own shot, I mean, I've been, I've been in those type of predicaments when I walk in the rec by myself, even as the point guard, um, other people are just looking for their own shot. You know what I mean? If I'm on another build and I'm not on my pure playmaker, let's say I'm on my two-way or I'm on my inside-outside shot creator and I'm matched up with a point guard who doesn't even want to pass the ball, I mean, what's the point? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's a team game. Um, we all have our roles, and once you understand your role, you should execute it. And if you are the point guard and I'm coming to play with you, I would assume or I would expect that you want to pass the ball. You know what I mean? You want to pass the ball, get guys open looks, and, you know, just be a team player. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really do love uh, being that passer because, first of all, if you if you guys are paying attention to the gameplay in the background, I don't even score until, I think, the third quarter. You know what I mean? If you see my stat line right now, I have zero points, three boards, five assists, maybe a couple steals maybe already, but... I'm not looking to score, man. Once I get the ball in my hands, I'm looking for my teammates. If it's down the court, oh, no, I score right here. My guy hits me. Easy Russell Russell dunk. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, every time I get the ball, my icons is always up. I'm looking to pass the ball down the court. You know what I mean? If I get it back, I get it back. If I don't, I don't. But that's what, that's what makes me... I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I'm one of the best playmakers, one of the best point guards that's left on the game. You know what I mean? I'm still a casual at the end of the day, don't get me wrong. But as far as just being a pure point guard, a pass for his guy, I think I'm one of the best, and I think I'm one of the last left. Um, I could also get my shot off. I could also get a bucket if I need to, but why? Why do that if I'm at the point guard spot? I should be looking to get other people opportunities, other people to... Um, score and get involved in the game, make sure they catch their rhythm. Um, a lot of the pro-am point guards are score first point guards because, I mean, that's what they have to do. You know what I mean? They have to score a lot of points, draw the double teams in and all that. As you can see me, I'm trying to dribble, trying to get something. I try to go for a dunk here, but two can me do a layup. But awareness by me, get the ball back, put it back up, and it's halftime. You know what I'm saying? Um, who remembers in the old 2Ks when they had badges that actually worked for playmakers, for point guards like Pick and Roll Maestro? Um, I remember the flashy passer badge. You guys remember that? I remember 
when, in my opinion, Dimer actually worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always use Dimer every year as a point guard. And I don't know, this year, like the past two years, I feel like, I feel like it don't have the same effect as it used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. And we got guys just like Needle Threader. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like the way how 2K is making the games now is, is putting the emphasis on you have to score, you have to score. As I found out, man, wide open in the corner. I could have hit him earlier, but I was just a second late. He missed a shot. He mistimed the shot. So that's on me. Um, but yeah, like, the way, in my opinion, the way how 2K is going about these things nowadays is like, well, we want score, 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 offense, offense, offense. Um, one of the rec challenges actually this season was for you to score, what, like 2,000 points or something like that? Or is it 6,000 points? And you just get a rec headband, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, I find it way more fun when I'm playing a team game like this. When I'm, If I'm getting the ball, I'm trying to get it to the open man. You know what I'm saying? I could care less if I score zero points and have 12 or 13 assists. As you see, I find my man cutting on the back door straight off the inbound. Like, this is what I do. Get up the ball. I get the ball. I throw it down the court. And somebody make a play. Somebody make something happen. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm probably the best random that you'll probably walk into the rec to because a lot of times I go in there by myself. If nobody's online, you know, some people got work, some people got school. But if you see me in the rec, especially if I'm on my pure playmaker build, then you know you're going to touch the ball multiple times. You're going to have multiple chances. You know what I mean? I do run Diamond Hall of Fame. I do run Floor General Hall of Fame. I used to use um, one of the playmaking takeovers, but... Ah, man, sometimes randoms, man. Even with all the help in the world, they will still miss a wide-open shot. So um, I run Limitless Takeover, and I run Ankle-Breaking Shots as a secondary. Um, and don't worry, if you guys want this build, I already have a build video up on it. I will post the link in the description. Um, it's my most viewed um, video on my channel. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys are interested, I'm going to drop it in the description. You know what I mean? As you can see, my boy Lee, he hitting people in the corner too. Like, this playmaking stuff is not hard, but you have to be willing to pass the ball. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people on 2K does not want to pass the ball. They don't want to give up the open shot. They just, everybody just want to be a superstar. And I get it. You pay $70 for a game. You pay an extra $100 to be a, a 99. As you can see, I get the steal, the rebound. Pass at the court. My guy's going to take it all the way to the right. That's another assist for me. All right, another assist. That's all I care about. As you can see, I only have four points, and it's the fourth quarter. You know what I mean? I have limitless takeoff. As you see, man, in the whole spin move and one, I'm eating, I'm cooking up. You know what I'm saying? And I said limitless takeoff. I meant limitless range back. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, bro, it's like you have to be a willing passer. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting pressed in the backcourt. My icon is always up. As you see throughout the whole gameplay, my icons is always up. When I touch the ball, it's always up. I set a screen for my boy. He usually make those, um, those step back threes. Um, but he missed on that one, so it's fine. We come back down on defense. I'm lurking, I'm lurking, I'm lurking. And I get dunked on. Okay, that's fine. You know what I mean? But this guy, this guy that has the ball, don't be like him. Every time he touches the ball, something bad happens. If you notice throughout the whole gameplay, this guy right here is one of those dudes, one of those rec randoms that makes a point guard, that tries to be a point guard, but that's not his role. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want to be involved with people like that. You know what I'm saying? So now we're in the fourth. As you can see in my stat line, I got seven points, five boards, eight assists. Okay? And it don't end there. I'm not even going to lie. You know what I mean? And these are one of... Okay, so I see him behind me, so I'm just going to go on for an easy dunk. Easy dunk, you know what I mean? When you play point guard, you also got to have IQ and know your matchups. He's pressing me hard for whatever reason. I see my guy go back out to the three-point line, easy kick out, easy green. Another assist for me, you know what I mean? Like, I can beat you by just passing the ball. Understand that. Now, I thought my guy was going to go for a backdoor cut and a backdoor lob. That's the only reason why I throw it. And I think that's my only turnover of the game. You feel me? I think that's my only turnover of the game. This guy gets the ball. Selfish. He doesn't want to pass. All right? My guy, he sees me. I could have shot that mid-range, but I see my guy open up top. And I just, it's just natural instinct. So I pass the ball. Um, they get a steal. He sees me wide open in the corner. 
Easy money. If you guys want this jump shot, it is pure Kyle Kuzma, all right? Pure Kyle Kuzma. I have a 79 three ball, all right? I get the steal. I'm looking to pass early. Eyes up the court. I see my guy wide open in the corner. Green light. It's just that easy. It's just that simple. I feel like I have a W play style because I'm a real playmaking point guard. Pass first point guard. Now look at me on defense. I'm looking. I'm seeing a lot of movement in the back door. Look, cut another cut. Give me that. I'm lurking. Okay, eyes up the field, up the court, pass to my guy, step back three, and he misses it, all right? Like I said, he usually makes that, so I trust him, you know what I mean? This guy gets the ball, turnover, this is what I'm saying, like, this is what I'm saying, it's guys like him, bro. So I get the ball again, come up the court, icons moving, easy decks, right back out to the corner, green, okay? So... I'm going to just finish out this video by saying, man, I feel like playmaking is just a lost art in 2K. Um, I wish we could bring it back, but there's guys like me that's always going to be here, always willing to pass, always willing to get all my teammates involved. So if you ever do run up, run into me in the wreck, expect me to look for all of my teammates. I finished the game about 12 points, I think five boards, like three steals, 12 assists, um, one block, and I think one turnover, man. You know what I mean? Easy double-double. Shout out my guy, Lee DaVinci. 34 points, 82% shooting. You know what I mean? Those other three dudes, they known each other or they know each other, but who cares? And as you can see, I'll wrap up. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Um, like the channel. I mean, like the video, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm going to catch you guys. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you.